Your crazy ass hit me with a pen. I'm calling the police right now and you're going to jail. Yeah, babe, I think that you should because she deserves it because she's crazy. I'll go ahead because then I just might have to tell the police that you've been lying on your taxes to get more than what you need. A thousands more. No idea what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, sure you don't. So go ahead and call them. I'll be waiting. You do know snitches get stitches, right? Girl, are we in the third grade? Hell no. So if you do the crime, you do the time. If you don't want to do the time, don't do the damn crime. Simple. I really don't think you want to go up against me because I know where you live. And that little girl that you have, how would you love to plan her funeral early? Tyler, okay, that's enough. We should not bring kids into this. Oh no, Jessica, it's okay because Tyler, have you ever heard of a woman scorn? I heard it's a real bit. So please do what you have to do because when shit hits the fan, I hope you have no regrets because I know I won't. Um, Jessica and Tyler, the school's calling for you guys. Luna did what? Okay, don't worry about it. We will handle it. Do -do -do. Luna, get your ass in here. Yes. So you mean to tell me that you're being disrespectful to your teacher, Miss Jones, again? I wasn't disrespectful. I didn't even say anything to her today. I'm telling you, she's picking on me because I didn't even do anything to her. I'm telling you, Dad, she's lying on me. Yeah, like a teacher is about to lie on a student. I love how my best friend is the teacher in her school, and now she's picking on her on my demand. Ha ha ha. Yes! I'm telling you the truth. Go upstairs and get down to your drawers. I'm about to come up there and whoop your ass. Oh, trust me, you're either going to get the paddle or the belt. Okay, first of all, that's humiliating to do to any child. What the hell is wrong with you? Why don't you take your ass down to the school and see if Luna's actually telling the truth or not instead of just whooping her on demand because the teacher said something to you. Nowadays, some of these teachers be real evil out here. How I punish my child is none of your damn business. Mm-hmm. Oh, and yeah, Tyler? What? Your car is rolling down the hill. What? Oh! Thank you so much, Sierra. No problem. Give me some. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, mom, can you sign my permission slip, please? No, because you know how your dad feels about you going on stupid field trips. So, no, I'm not signing that. Mom, please, okay? I never get to go anywhere or do anything. And dad only doesn't want me to go because he never got to go. Please don't rob me of this. Luna, I already said no. Please, mom. No. Please, mom. No, Luna. Please, mom. No. No. Ah! Look what you made me do. Why the hell do you keep pushing me when I already told you no? You didn't have to push me on the floor. I just got a little excited. That's all. I'm sorry. Jessica, maybe you need to take a long look on who you are becoming. The hell is your problem, huh? <laughs> Why the hell did you push me on the floor? I didn't even do anything to you. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. No, I'm like, I totally saw you there. But how does it feel to be pushed down onto the floor for absolutely nothing? Oh, no, you didn't bother me. I'm good. Luna, are you okay, hon? Yeah, I'm okay. My knee's a little bruised, but it's nothing that I'm not used to. But it's nothing new. That's bad. Oh, shut up, Luna. I didn't hurt you that bad. Don't worry, Luna. I got you later, okay, honey? Jessica, where's your busted-ass husband and your poor poo-smelling-ass friend? You know, to be my mama's best friend, you are so obsessed with my husband and my best friend. Oh, are you jealous of my life or something? Don't make me <laughs> laugh. I just think it's funny how when he's not here, she's not here. Oh, and he only speaks up for her, but he never speaks up for you. Only a fool would ignore the signs, but look, I gotta go. But I'll be back. How dare you put your hands on me? You're putting your hands on a child that's not yours, and she was screaming to death because you had her in a chokehold. How is that a punishment for any kid? Excuse me, I actually have permission from Tyler and Jessica to put my hands on her, or in your case, to punish her. Exactly, she does, and I should have you arrested for putting your peasant hands on her. Tyler, <clears throat> you're only speaking up for her because you're banging her. No, I'm not. That would make so much more sense. I'm just kidding, but damn, the look on y'all faces actually make me believe it. Dad, I'm really not feeling good right now. I don't know why. Oh, let me fix some of your favorite juice, okay, honey? She don't feel good, and V's giving her juice to help? This horse ass is poisoning her. Uh, why the hell did you push this out of my hand, you crazy bitch? Ooh, I'm so sorry. I'm such a klutz. Oh, my favorite juice. Hey, Luna, listen to me. Do not take anything from her. No juice, no drink, no nothing, okay? Oh, even if it's a piece of candy, don't take anything from her, okay? Okay, thank you. I'm about to go to the store for you, buy you a whole bunch of food and drinks, and they're going to be in my room, okay? Okay, I won't. I promise. And are you Chazzy's mom? Oh, yes, I am, hon. Why? Because she goes to my school, and she's the coolest. She let me hold her baby Yodis. Yeah, she is cool, and so are you. Really? Well, thanks. Bye. Bye. I need to investigate. Why the hell is she poisoning her? What the hell is going on here? 
I don't want to see you move until you finish all of those water bottles. Your mom's not here to save you and neither is your grandmother. But I can't, I really have to use the bathroom. So what, my father and my mother did this to me and look, I turned out to be a good ass father and a good person by the way. It taught me discipline. But I wasn't doing nothing bad, I was just coloring. The reason why I'm doing this to you is because you made V trip over your stupid coloring pencils and she got a paper cut from that. It wasn't my fault, she tried to trip herself. I seen it. Excuse me, are you really lying on me right now? And because of your lying ass tongue, I want you to drink eight more bottles of water. But I really have to pee. I can't hold it any longer. My stomach hurts so bad. I do not care. That is not my problem. That's what you get when you try to harm me on purpose. And if you pee on this floor, me and your father is going to give you the beating of a lifetime that you remember for the rest of your life. I'm sorry for calling. Okay, I won't do it again. I promise. Please let me use the bathroom. Are you serious? First of all, that is disgusting. You are a nasty human being. And I need you to go upstairs, wash up, because I don't want to touch a nasty dog like you. Oh, oh, are you crying? Or oh, those baby tears? I don't care. Get your ass upstairs and wash up. And you better hope I don't come up there with an extension cord. This is actually kind of fun. I see why my dad did what he did to me. I know, right? Like, I don't even have kids, but she makes me want kids to do this too. This honestly makes me respect him more. Why the hell do you keep hitting her on the head like that, Jessica? If you're going to keep doing that, I'm going to take her away from you. Because look at the black eye you just gave her. So, mom, she deserved it. She was stealing money out of my purse. Jessica, did you even see her do it? No, but V saw her do it and told me what happened. So this is what Luna gets. By tomorrow, I want you and Tyler out of here. Make us get out, mom. I want to see you try. You trying to buck up to me? Jessica, you don't want to fight me. Maybe I am. What are you going to do about it, mom? Damn, Tyler's office smells like horse ass. But I know I would look in his computer, but no, that's too obvious. Now them drawers? Now them drawers. Let me see what you got in here. Ah, ah, ah. Some juicy stuff in here. So you mean to tell me that Tyler and V is together together. They're poisoning not only Jessica, not only Luna, but Erica too. And you mean to tell me V's dad is not really dead? What the hell? What more could be going on? Oh my God. I have to get home. Shit. Come on, come on, move it. I'm not getting any younger here. I'm not getting pulled over. I'm not getting pulled over. Oh, shit. License and registration, ma'am. All right, can I ask why am I being pulled over? <gasps> Hello. Bailiff, somebody better be dead. Josh Squishy's here is missing. What? Are you serious? Yes, now get over here. Okay, 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 I'll be down there. What the hell is going on? Okay, tell me what happened. Well, I woke up and I seen someone take my dad and they was beating on him. Did you see them? Did they know you was there? They was wearing masks. They did see me, but my dad told me to run and I hid in the spot where they made for me just in case of emergencies. And I called my mom, but she didn't answer the phone. I did call you and you picked up the phone and then you just hung it up in my face. Thanks a lot. Oh, that was you? Oh, I thought it was Annabelle and I hung up because I got scared. And what about you? Me and my mommy was watching a movie and I got up to go to the bathroom and then someone knocked at the door and my mommy answered and they pushed her down to the ground. And they also asked her if I was home, but she said, no, I went to a friend's house, but I went to go hide anyways, just in case. I'm so sorry that you had to see that, hun, but you and Chazzy did the right thing by hiding, okay? And you both are brave and strong for that. Now, hun, what happened to you? Thanks for letting me hold them, guys. This gives me a lot of strength. My grandma woke me up in the middle of the night and she rushed me to her room where she put me in this hiding spot. I didn't even know she had a hiding spot for me because I didn't think anybody cared that much. And then four guys came and took them and my, they asked my grandma, oh, where's the little brat? And my grandma said, oh, she's not here. But my mom said, I'm somewhere in the house, but they couldn't find me anyways. Okay, well, you guys are going to stay with me, okay, until we figure all this out. Slumber party, baby Yodi time. <laughs> Slumber party, yeah. Bailiff, control yourself. Oh my gosh, girls, we've been looking for you everywhere. Where have you been? Ew, I smell horse poo. Oh my gosh, what happened to you girls? We've been looking for you everywhere. It's okay, girls, okay? Me and V are going to take you guys home. Okay, come on. Oh, man. Oh no, they are fine with me. Mm-hmm.
I'm Judge Frank and Squishy, you need to recuse yourself because you're too involved into this family. I'll be handling this case from now on. And Tyler and V, you can go ahead and take the girls home. They will be in your custody. Over my live body. Oh, hell no. And my daddy said I can cuss on the right moment and this is the right moment. Hell no. Really, Frank? Squishy, do something. We made an oath. I can't. I'm so sorry. You got my number though, okay? Call me anytime, anytime. Bring, 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 bring. <laughs> Bailiff, somebody better be dead. What?